Hello everyone, it is I, Kimiko Taki here, coming with at you live, not live, um, coming at you though with a new Nendoroid unboxing video, because, you know, I got some Nendoroids today. Um, this video will be uploaded after my room tour that I did for my whole um, 100 subscriber celebration. Um, I recorded that last night and these came today. Um, I wish they came yesterday like they were supposed to, because then it could have been Miku Monday, but now it's Tuesday. So it's, um, the Miku Tuesday. Yeah, that, that, that works. Um, but here we have some Hatsune Miku merchandise. We have the Nandere doll Hatsune Miku, and we have Racing Miku 2020, the Chattering Coin Bank. I also did pick up some extra clothes for Miku. These are the exact same clothes. But these fit on other Nendere dolls, which I'm hoping to do for another one. Actually, does it come with this, like, hanger? That might be why I got it. Hmm. I'm not sure if it does. It doesn't... I can't see it in here if it does. If it does come with this, that'd be kind of cool. But I'm not going to open that because I'm going to be opening this. Um, but first, I think we should open up the Chattering Bank. Well, before I open up anything, I should be showing you it. Here's the Chattering Bank. Um, from what I believe is that there's different designs for these chattering banks and it looks like it needs batteries. Hopefully they're double A cause I have those. Um, and I don't know if there are different designs. I hope that I got this one cause this is the one that I was seeking. Um, because there's different designs shown on the Ami Ami page. So I hope I got that. That's the chattering bank. Put that to the side. And here we have Hatsune Miku. Nendori doll. That was the front. This is the side. This is the back. The other side. The top. And the bottom. I think I should just open up this bank right away. I do have some coins to test it out. Let's see if it comes with batteries or if I'm, I am going to need to borrow some. Borrow as in just take from my stash of batteries that I have. Let's open this up. Like so. Nice. I think... I think you have to put the stickers on yourself. That is exactly what it looks like. Because it looks like this is empty. Um, let's see. If, I don't know if there are batteries. Um, but let's see. Because it looks like I'm going to have to decorate this myself. And I got this stuck on a sticker. There's a QR code that I will check out in a bit. A couple of them. I think these give you like points or whatever in terms of the Miku stuff. I like these a lot. So you do get to choose what image goes on the Chattering Bank, which is nice. I do like this one, but I think I also really like this one. Mm hmm so let's see how this will be going on I think it would be like something like this is there any way to see on the box not entirely sure I do believe that they're on this because there is this one with a speaker hole on it so if I had to guess it would be like this that would make sense because that's where the screw is all right, let's see me fail at putting on a sticker. So we have that. This needs to be placed higher, but I don't think I can. Shit. I am terrible at this. But I shall not feign. I actually did pretty good. I just had to be confident and I had to see this part first. But we have this, there's no bubbles. And boom, we got that part on. Now, I have to work on this one, which should go like this. Hmm. 
Let me position that first. Because then I can just bring that down. Put this down like this. Kind of spread it down like that. And there we go. We have that. And both of them are in good positions. And then right here is where I get to put one of these. Hmm. Now this will be the tricky part. Because I don't think I want to take them off once they're on. But do I really want to like just take one of these off to put in there? Which one would I want to do? These are all really good. Hmm. This one is my least favorite one. Just because it's kind of generic. And everything else is good. Especially this one. This one's really good too. Well, I did say this was the one I was expecting the most. So I think it's only right that I do put this one on. So I think I should do that. So let's get that part on. Put that side in. Peel off the secondaries side of the sticker start spreading it down so that way it's nice and flush and there we go we have that on pretty good i did kind of do it a little bit lower it should have been a little bit higher but i can't be perfect other than that it looks pretty good um and i think there are no batteries here's miku let me just push and see what happens exactly nothing's happening because there are no batteries um, so, I'm gonna put some batteries in this and I'll be right back. Hello, so I was able to, you know, screw out the battery pack and take in batteries, which were AA, surprisingly, the ones I have. So, I turned it on and now I'm ready to test it. I have my trusty bell bag that you guys have seen from my last video. And we'll use this quarter to test it out. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Let's do it again. I apologize for that. The video cut out. Um, it seems like it does that every time. I really need to delete the videos that I have already saved on my phone. But to make up for it, let's do it one more time. Do you see? And I like it. I like it a lot. Let me turn that off so I don't accidentally press it throughout the video. Leave her up here. And now we move on to the main event. The main thing that I mainly do. I'm gonna open her up. Open up an Android doll of Miku. And then hopefully this posing goes well. Um, the one video that I probably won't upload is the Astolfo one of the Nendoray doll, because I realized that I actually accidentally deleted that. <laughs> Not accidentally. Well, I don't know. I had deleted it to make space on my phone for more videos, and sadly, it is gone. It took way too long, though, to build it. It took, like, forever. It took 20 minutes just to really dress him up. It was not a fun video. Um, It looks like there's a QR code for Nendoray doll. I'm not entirely sure what that is about probably scan it after the video as well and then of course no instructions here she is in the blister pack here we have boots we have her naked right here we have her with other arms we have the wonderful nundere doll face that i'm gonna love we have the clothes that we already got for free in this and then i bought the extra set because i would like to use it Use that, and let me put on my gloves, and then we will get to opening her and posing her, which is the sake of what I do. Hopefully this one doesn't go that bad as Astolfo. But let's open her up here. I never talked about what pose I want to do. I probably want to do her jumping. Or I want to just have her do the double peace signs 
which is what I did with Astolfo. Well, I did it in one iteration of his pose, but yeah, something just fell. Was that her hand? Her hand fell. That's not good. Let's take the plastic off. And as you can see, she's naked under there. No peeking. Even though you guys are probably going to be peeking. Because that's what this is. I'm dressing her up and stuff. So, let me at least get the clothes ready. So you guys don't have to peek at a nude Miku for too long. Let me get the clothes out. I still wish they came dressed, but I know, I know. It's so it doesn't stain the body still though. It's kind of dumb, but that's just my critique. I'm pretty sure having it stained would be a lot more dumb than me worrying about having to dress her up. I will have to look back at that for reference so I know which stuff goes where, but Miku is pretty iconic. I should be able to figure it out. No instructions, of course. Just take out those things for her arm. That's her actual outfit. She has Ponsu connected to that. We'll probably put that on first if she is all naked. All right, let's do the Ponsu. Um, I think it's this side. Don't stare at this section for too long. Even though I'm the one you know, recording it and all that. Does that make me the pervert? I don't think so. Let's put on her ponsu. Like so. And she's no longer as naked. Hooray. Hooray for ponsu Miku. They're not Shimi Pond though, which kind of sucks. I will need to take off her head because sometimes doing the Nendoroid dolls with the head on is very, very struggling. Oh, they did add the zero one one on her arm though, so props to that. Let's put this on. So I will grab this. This should go in through here. We got that. And then we do it on this side as well. So far, this Miku is a lot more cooperative than that Astolfo, for sure. Okay, so we gotta get the tie all good. Then we gotta get this put on, like so. There we go. Maybe. There we go. We got that on. And we need to put her Skatsu. Um, this part of it, this closes this way okay and this goes on this side no wait it's gonna be this side because it has to be shown out so let's wrap it around put it on like that so the shirt goes over the skirt so let's do this to try and do as good a job as possible Put it on like that, like that. Have that go up. I might have put her. <laughs> no, that's her regular outfit. Oh well. Let's try and get it up there a little bit more. I think we're good there. Cool. So we have these. And then let's look at the arm things, which one goes on which side, unless they're both the same. They're both the same, so it doesn't really matter. And they do not come off or like on Velcro, so I think I should be safe in being able to do it like this. I probably need to take off the hands. That's probably what I gotta do. Put that on, slide it up, and then these aren't fully on. You know what? I will definitely be doing the 
happy in the air motion with her. So I don't think I will need to switch out hands. So let's put this one on now. Slide that up. Slide it through. Put that there. Put that on. You can slide that a little bit. There we go. We basically got her all nice and dressed up. Boom. Make you all nice and dressed up. And then I can probably put the head back on. Boom. Ah, the shoes, of course. Shoot. I'll take her head off again, because I don't want the twin tails to be in the way. So let's take that off, because the shoes actually have their own peg on them. For me to insert into the peg hole. I apologize, I have to <laughs> go in this way to help Miku out. And let me just, boom, that fit in like a dream. This fit, this was a lot easier to do than with a Stolfo for sure, wow. Okay, we got that one on. Let me take off the foot of this one. Put that back. Let me at least get her, yeah, that's good. that on there and boom we're in business so we have Miku all nice and good let me see exactly what I do here to get her into that pose it looks like yeah she's just kind of in the air her arms extended her knees slightly bent so I'll keep that up so she's kind of also at an angle her arms are out, one bent this way, like that. It looks like this skirt should be way up, because you can still see her absolute territory when she's up like that. Hmm. Interesting. Can I put it up more? It's very hard. Well, it looks like I did. It did kind of come undone, though. So let me just fix that. There we go. That's a little bit better. Not the best, but better. And then let's take this out. Because I will need to have her up there, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. looks of it. I will need to connect this into one of these. I think it's going to be this one to this one. That looks to be about it. So let me find the actual part where this goes in. Oops. I guess I'll have to open it up a bit. That's where it is. So let me just go in there. Boom. Got that in. <laughs> so how am I gonna have her exactly like that? Wow, this one can go f high. So then... 
Let's do that. Will it even stay like up? I guess that's why it's so intricate, this one. So I can do that, this, kind of have her up like this, put her twin tails back. She needs to be a little bit more forward, but if I do that, she loses support. Maybe not. Wow. She kind of did it. Wow. Ah, no. As I said that. Yeah, she needs to be up like that. Yeah. Wow. She definitely needs a little bit more tweaking, but I would say that's pretty good for like the most part. She's pretty good. Wow. I'm actually surprised. Um, this one didn't take as long to do. And I mean, if you like the way that she looks, she definitely looks really good. Here, I'll take my phone off its tripod and you guys can see for yourself how she kind of looks. As you can see, it wasn't that terrible to do. This one was definitely easier than a Stolfo. I was able to kind of do the pose pretty accurately to what this was. I probably just need to kind of adjust with it a little bit. But yeah, this is Nender Hidal Hatsune Miku. And you know, if you like what you saw, you can like and subscribe or just subscribe or just like or do nothing. I don't mind. Um, I'll keep doing this. And once again, thank you guys for helping me reach 100 subscribers. This is Kemiko Taku. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.